Everyone should go lady vintage bags here. Now, have you guys seen the pictures of the Louis Vuitton gorgeous luxe letter trunks popping up on Instagram? So I've seen sneak peek photos and prices on Foxy LV and Matt D's Instagram account. So shout out to them. And guys, it's priced at a whopping 8,000 euros or 9,300 US dollars. Guys, I almost fell off my chair when I saw these prices. Like these prices are just not realistic for regular folks. Like that's for me in my tax bracket, that's just something that I just can't achieve. I just don't have the money to make that sort of purchase. But I am excited to live vicariously through other people's unboxings because that's probably as close as I'll ever get to be able to see one or touch one because it's just not within my tax bracket. But guys, it looks like they are coming out with every letter on the alphabet. And if you want to go out there and buy all the letters of your name, if you can afford it, go out and do you guys. Now it looks like the rumors are saying it's gonna be coming out either at the end of 2023 or maybe early 2024, every letter of the alphabet. And initially it seemed like the rumors were saying there's going to be different color interiors for the different letters. But now it looks like the rumor has changed to just one color interior for all the letters, which is that beige one. And that all the letters are gonna be priced the same, that, that 8,000 euro or that 9,300 US dollar mark. Now guys, Foxy LV put up this great photo of the letter spelling out Foxy LV, but it just looks so good. And then Matt D put up the photos of it spelling out Louis Vuitton. Oh guys, it's so luxe. Like I actually really love the Louis Vuitton hard sided trunk, but it's just cause it's so far out of reach for me. I don't have any in my collection, but they are just so beautiful. And I love old school vintage things. Like I've always been a thrift shopper back when I was at university, even before designer bags. Like I just love old school things. Maybe I was born in the wrong era, who knows? Like when I think about the Louis Vuitton hard-sided luggage, I imagine the scene of, you know, that movie Titanic where Rose is boarding the Titanic through her first class entrance and she looks so gorgeous and classy. Like guys, back then only the uber rich were gonna have something like a Louis Vuitton trunk. The passengers boarding through that coach entrance, no. No Louis Vuitton trunks in their luggage. It was just like an uber rich item only. Maybe I'm just idolizing things too much, but you know, that is the scene that I imagine when I think about Louis Vuitton hard sided trunks. Now the photos of these letter trunks has got me thinking and reminiscing about all the extravagant Louis Vuitton trunks I've seen on the internet over the years. And guys, every time I see one of these extravagant trunks, like my heart flutters. It's just something that I know is so far out of my world, but it's still so beautiful at the same time. Like it just takes me to another place when I see these items. So I wanna share with you those fabulous items I've seen over the years. Okay, so starting with trunk number one, this is called the Vanity Trunk. This I saw for the first time a couple of years ago on Jamie Chua's channel. Now I found this price still current on the Australian website going for a whopping 315,000 Australian dollars. Now Jamie Chua has a friend who actually has one of these gorgeous beauties and she went to her house to vlog about it in person there. Now guys, this gorgeous vanity trunk folds out. You get a foldable store in all these gorgeous compartments. Pink, we've got clear perspex leather drawers. And guys, I am organization style butterfly. So I love clear storage. And if you're thinking, what the hell is a butterfly organization style? Guys, if you don't already know Cass from here on YouTube on the Clutterbug channel, you can go and do her quiz to go and find your organization style. I'm someone who for years struggled with home organization and her quiz helped me to learn my own organization style and helped to transform me from being a hot mess to getting my house in order. So if that sounds like you, where you're really struggling with finding the right organization for you or one that you can maintain I implore you to go check out her quiz which I'll link down below or check out her organization style video which I found so immensely helpful for me when I was starting out so I'll link that video in the description box down below for you as well now this vanity is definitely a pink princess moment like if money was like no 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 object and I had so much money I had no idea what to do with it then I would consider this item it comes with over 30 drawers you get the soft monogram vanity bag and the fold out store that goes with it guys it's just so beautiful and it folds up into this rectangular trunk and guys it must be so heavy I don't know but it looks like it's going to be really heavy okay guys so for trunk number two we're going to travel back into the past now I saw this on producer Michael's channel 
where he went to go visit the store of a professional luxury reseller. Now, this one they dated as from the 1930s or 1940s and they quartered a shoe or a sandal trunk. And when you look at it from the outside, it looks like a very reasonably moderate sized trunk, like a suitcase style. You know, you can quite easily carry it with just one hand. And when they opened her up, there were 12 slots for shoes, six on each side. Now, my guess is each slot is only meant for one pair of shoes. And one of the sides of the trunk comes with this fabric cover as well. Guys, look at the attention to detail on the exterior of this trunk. Look at how gorgeous it is with all these mini LVs etched into the leather. Guys, just the amount of time and labor and care that would have gone into making that. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Okay, now let's go back to the present and look at the modern day shoe trunk. So trunk number three, this is called the sneaker trunk or the Mal sneakers. Now I first saw this a couple of years ago for the first time on Jeffree Star's channel where he had one in his house and he was putting his sneakers in. Now this is a huge upgrade from that 1930s, 40s suitcase we just looked at. Now if you look at the way Jeffree Star's organizing it, it looks like you can only fit one shoe per shelf, meaning each pair is going to take up two shelves. And it also looks like you can display a pair of shoes on the top too. Now, if anyone can tell me what is the purpose of this fleur de lis shaped drawer divider in the top drawer, or is it even a drawer divider? I don't know. But what is the purpose of it? Because it seems like a bit awkward for organization with this. Maybe it's just purely for aesthetics. I don't know. Now, this is still on the LV website going for a whopping three hundred and five thousand Australian dollars. Just let's just mull over that price. Three hundred and five thousand Australian dollars, guys. That is just so much money. But you know what? It's not meant for people like me and you. This is meant for the very wealthy. But we can live vicariously through watching their unboxing on the internet. Okay, guys. So we're going to go travel back into the past again. Trunk number four. We're going back more than 100 years now. The 1890s. This is called the bed trunk or the camp bed trunk. Guys, the original pamphlet is still on the internet. Check this out here. So this is a fold out bed so that rich people could travel in style and have their personal bed with them. Guys, how amazing is this for innovation? Over a hundred years ago, look at what the pamphlet says. It says you can unpack or pack this within three minutes without the aid of any tools. And the wide base means these legs are inside the trunk, meaning that when you unfold it, it's not going to dig or dip into any sand or soil, meaning the bed is going to be kept level. You can maintain your comfort. Now price guys, the original pamphlet has the price. Okay, check this out. If you wanted to buy the bed as a complete set with all the sheets, 1890s, okay? Just imagine yourself back in the past, over a hundred years ago, 12 pounds. Now by today's standards, with all the inflation we've had, you're thinking, oh my goodness, 12 pounds. That sounds unimaginable for Louis Vuitton. 12 pounds was something that only the super, super, super rich could afford back then. But just by today's standards, if you just contrast the price 12 pounds with just even like the pochette accessoires, like a thousand dollars, my gosh, mind blown, 12 pounds. Even though it means like kind of similar thing, both very expensive, but just the numbers alone really helps to put things into perspective about how money has gone down the toilet. Value of money has gone down the toilet, guys. Okay, let's go to trunk number five. Now we're coming back forward another 40 years, back into the 1930s. Ernest Hemingway, the author. Ernest Hemingway library trunk. Custom design for Ernest Hemingway by Gaston Louis Vuitton. This was a library trunk that came with a typewriter. Could put his books, his manuscripts, carried around with him as he traveled. Guys, this is a masterpiece made custom for someone. Now, there wasn't only just one made, there was a very small number made. So it wasn't just one, but there were a couple, but it is still a very rare item. Just check this out. How amazing is this? Made with a mishmash of shelves, drawers, secret compartments, typewriter. You can imagine Ernest Hemingway there typing masterpieces. Now, if you compare the exterior of this 1930s Hemingway to that 1930s shoe trunk we saw earlier, very similar with that etching. So I do believe that they are actually from the same era. Guys, Louis Vuitton, trunk makers, this is their thing. But the thing is, it's for rich people as well. <laughs> Not for regular folks like me and you. 
but guys doesn't mean we can't admire them on the internet so for me are they worth it for my regular income no do i still think they're gorgeous items yes do i still think they're masterpieces yes do i still think i want to admire them on the internet yes but no i won't be making a purchase in the present